So today what I want to talk about is some different scenarios revolving around repeating events. And I know that's one thing that a lot of people like to work with. And I'm going to try and give you a couple of different ways of doing some things. So let's just go through the basic of setting up a repeating event. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go to the actual day that I want something to start on. That just makes it a little bit easier for you when scheduling something. So let's say, for example, just Monday at 11 a.m. Click on that. And I'm going to go to Edit Event and just go back into my event details here. So I'm just going to say staff meeting and we'll say just from 11 to 12 and then I'm going to go to repeating event here. You'll see what pops up is this dialog box that you'll need to get familiar with for all of the different options that you can do. Now just to do a simple repeating event you can leave it as weekly which is my default. I can also go to daily every weekday every Monday Wednesday Friday every Tuesday and Thursday, the weekly, monthly, or even yearly. So we'll just do, just for simplicity's sake, we'll just leave it at weekly. We can have this repeat every one week. You have all these different options of repeating every several weeks. You can have it repeat on a certain day. Now if I'd like to add a day here, maybe I want to do a Monday, Thursday option, I can select that additional day here. To keep track of all the changes that you make while you're within this box, you can go down to the very bottom here where it says Summary, Weekly on Monday and Thursday. Now, I have it starting on my specific date that I selected, and that just makes it easier here. The next thing that you would want to do is pick when you want it to end. Do you want it to be a never-ending thing where it's just going to go on and on after X amount of occurrences or on a specific date? So I could say I'm going to have this go on for 35 occurrences and then it will end. Say done. You can go ahead and enter any of your guests here and then we'll just go ahead and click on save. So you'll see automatically it has added that Thursday day. Now I'm going to go forward and I'm just going to keep scrolling through my weeks here and you'll see after I get through about 17 days my meetings here will stop. And there we go. So you'll see my 17th date has ended on Monday of 8:31. I'm just going to go back to today and scroll forward a month or a week. Now I'm going to delete this option here and I'm going to delete all the events in this series because I just want to completely wipe this out. And that will get rid of all of the different dates that I have in there regardless of what day they're on. Now another thing that I want to do is show you a scenario of maybe you want a meeting to occur once a month or maybe even twice a month but what you want is you want them to be on different days. Now I can do this in two different ways. I can do two different events scheduling alternate days and I'll demonstrate that in just a moment or I can do something where I'll say I want all of my events to occur on a Wednesday but then I can go back and every other week I can switch it to a Thursday or a Tuesday or whatever. So let's say for example I'm just gonna go right back to that Monday date click on edit event and we're gonna go right back into these details meeting. Repeat. I'm going to say weekly, but I'm going to repeat it every two weeks. And I'm going to say every Monday, and I'm going to have it go 20 occurrences. You'll see at the bottom here my summary. Every two weeks on Monday, done. Click Save, and you'll see that there is week one, skips a week, goes to week two, skips a week, goes to week three. So you can see how you can do that alternating piece there. Now let's say for example, like I said, I want to have that alternate week to be a different day. Maybe on those alternate weeks I want them to be Wednesday. So the other way of doing this is going to that following week. We're going to go to Wednesday and select that. We'll go edit event and I'm just going to do meeting two so that it stands out a little bit. We're going to go repeating once again every two weeks. So every two weeks on Wednesday and we'll say after 20 occurrences and done. I'll save that. So there's that. Now if I go back to today and then forward one week. So I've already set this up to be on every Monday every two weeks. So now I've got here's Monday if I go forward one week, there's my Wednesday. Forward one week, there's my Monday. So you can see how you can alternate by doing 
two different setups. Now another way that we can do this is I can go ahead and I'm going to, going to go ahead here and delete this event. We'll just do all events in the series and then I want to go to my Wednesday one and delete all of those in that series. So that's setting up a recurring event every two weeks on a different day. So you can do it by setting up the two events. Now the other way that we can do this is we can set it up by just creating one event but then you'll have to go back and do a little bit of modification here. So let's go ahead and say okay I'm gonna go ahead and start my week off here on Monday 5-4. Once again we'll go to that Monday edit event and we'll say this is gonna be meeting three. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and add one person here because I just want you to see what it's gonna look like when you alter an event that you've invited people to. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to repeating and this one we're gonna say weekly and we're gonna have it repeat every week and we're gonna be every week for 20 occurrences and we'll say done and then we'll say save I'm gonna invite my external guest because that's myself now when you do anything with the guests you have the option of creating invitations in this case I'm gonna say don't send I'm just gonna add myself to it so here we go we have our event on Monday and if I scroll forward a week there it is and it's gonna go every Monday for the next 20 times so what I want to do is I want to change this up so this is where you can do the modifying piece so for example so here's week one it's on Monday week two I want it to be on Wednesday so I'm gonna go forward to week two click on my icon here for the event and I'm gonna drag it to Wednesday I'm just gonna say don't send but you do have the option of sending these updates to your invitees and now I have that calendar date changed for the Wednesday so if I go back to the previous week it's on Monday go forward it's on Wednesday go forward it's on Monday go forward we need to modify this one to go to Wednesday same thing so now what I have is I have my recurring event starting on Monday so week one is Monday week two is Wednesday week three Monday week four Wednesday so you can see how you can alternate things there so a couple of different ways of doing that customized type of event so once again I'm gonna go ahead and delete all of these in this series I'm gonna delete without updating and I'm gonna go back to my today and then go forward and let's delete all of these okay so now what I want to do is I want to show you another scenario where some people want to schedule an event that's on a specific day of the month let's say for example the third Wednesday of every month so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at my little mini calendar here to the left side of my screen and I can see I've got May coming up so I'm gonna do my meeting starting off in May here so I'm gonna to go to my third Friday and we'll say the 15th and I'm gonna go ahead and schedule an event at 11 a.m. go into edit event I'm gonna to go to repeating and I want this to repeat monthly on day 15 now you'll notice that where I can get more specific here is in this box now that I've changed this repeating piece to monthly I can repeat by the day of the month or the day of the week so if I click on this keep an eye on my summary down below monthly on the third Friday now I can go ahead and say it's a never-ending event click done so you'll see here now my summary is going to be it's monthly on that third Friday click Save and I just left it as an untitled event so now I have on the 15th here which is my third Friday of the month I'm gonna go forward and there's my next month and here it is once again here we are in June you'll notice if I look at my little mini calendar to the left here is Friday one two three is the 19th you'll notice here that I am on the 19th so my meeting is now occurring on that third Friday of every month so that's another scenario that you may want to work with 
So hopefully that's given you a few different scenarios that you can work with and a couple of different ways of doing some customized uh, recurring events in your Google Calendar.